New developments in the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando as well this morning. The wife of gunman Omar Mateen is in federal custody after being arrested by the FBI in connection with that massacre. NBC's Kerry Sanders has more on that. Hi, Kerry, good morning. Well, good morning, Matt. Since that massacre seven months ago here at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, there's been one lingering question. Did the gunman act alone? This morning in a federal courtroom in California, they'll unseal an indictment that says the gunman's wife knew what was about to happen. This is the first video of the arrest of Noor Salman, widow of Orlando nightclub shooter Omar Mateen. A relative telling NBC News agents took her into custody in the early morning raid at her home near San Francisco. She has been charged with aiding and abetting the terrorist attack and obstruction of justice, according to federal officials. This is a matter that we continue to take very seriously. It was always our goal, and we said from the beginning we were going to look at every aspect of this case. <laughs> God. The night Mateen carried out his deadly attack at the Pulse nightclub, killing 49 people and wounding dozens more, Salman texted her husband, where are you? He replies, do you see what's happening? No, she says. He answers, I love you, babe. The next day, I asked Mateen's father what Salman told him. Everybody is shocked, especially his wife. He, she cannot talk even. She's very sad. But law enforcement officials told NBC News she became a person of interest after telling officials she had been with her husband when he bought ammunition at Walmart and drove with him past the club at least once before the attack. Salman later told the New York Times, I was unaware of everything. This morning, the family is saying they're shocked and surprised at Salman's arrest because they've been cooperating with law enforcement. Salman's attorney calling her innocent, writing in a statement, nor Salman had no foreknowledge, nor could she predict what Omar Mateen intended to do that tragic night. We believe that it is misguided and wrong to prosecute her. Pulse survivor Chris Hansen says Salman's arrest doesn't change much for him. Does it make anybody feel any better? I'm not really sure. Nor Salman is expected to be extradited back here to Florida to stand trial. Matt Tamron. All right, Kerry, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.